I'm Antonio Perceffo, we're at the girls' dormitory at Deutsche Lang. We're inside the classroom and we have some special activities going on today. Uh, this is my new friend Sherry. Sherry, can you tell me what are we doing here today? What we're doing is we have the boys from the boys' dormitory here. We're doing medical checks and while they're waiting for the medical check, they're actually doing some artwork. Wow. Now, why did you choose an art project? Well, it keeps them occupied and it gives them a chance to demonstrate their skills. Do you find the Sean children are creative? I think general? they're very creative. Yesterday, when we did this project for the girls, they were actually drawing Sean State a lot of, probably 80% of the pictures. Well, we're reaching out to the children every couple of them, and we're um, hoping that Great. And are you guys being paid to do this? We are not. You're volunteers. You're a good person. Thank you. <laughs> Catherine is one of the nurses who's helping out today with the children's health check. Catherine, how many children have you seen today? I think we've got a hundred to see today. Got a hundred to see today. I'm Antonio Graceffo, we're at Lloyd Lang. This is Seng Han, he's 16 years old and he's a new arrival here at Lloyd Lang. In fact, I was here the day his parents brought him from inside of Shan State. Um, Seng Han, why did your parents bring you here? Uh, because they want me to be an, an educated person and to help uh, the Shan people. Uh, why couldn't he go to school in Shan State? Uh, because when I when I stay in Shan State, I only was a monk and I have no chance to to go to school, because uh, we we have only a place or uh, we we have a chance only to study in in the temple, not at at the school like other people. Did he ever have some problem in his village from the SPBC? Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes they, they come to the village. Um, sometimes they took uh, chicken and pig. You took chickens and pigs? Did yeah. You, was he a monkey in Yangon? Yeah, Nong Yabin Kung. Yes, he used to be there for a, for a year. For a year? Yeah. And when did he leave Yangon? Nong Ham. Just last year. Last year? Yeah. Uh, and uh, was he in Yangon when they had the protest? My uncle. No, um, no, he he was in in his hometown there. He he just came from Rangoon before the protest. He just came. To, oh, he just came home yeah. right before the protest. Yeah. Does he have? A, he has a younger brother. Yes. Yes. Where is his younger brother? Nong uh, Tai. In in his hometown. And is he going to come study here? Ah, Dong Nong Tai. Yes. Nong Nong, the uh, he's writing a letter to to his parents, and he, telling that he want he wants his brother to come here too. So does he enjoy being here? Nong Nong, go and you can I know. Yeah. Yes. What does he like here? He just like to study a lot at the school. Mhm. Mm yeah. Does he have a lot of friends here? Nong Nong, you can I know. Nong Nong. Yes. What do they like to play? Taco <laughs> Gorong. Uh, they play football and uh, like the croc. Oh, the croc. Oh. The croc, yeah. Okay. And then, call <coughs> leader, like leader with the. Be... Oh, marbles, marbles. Yeah, that yeah, one. The, the one. Okay. The glass one. Yeah. Uh, the croc, for people who don't know, the croc is a very popular game here in Southeast Asia, and it's a type of volleyball. But we play with our feet instead of with our hands and our head. And I say we, but I can't play it at all. But these kids, they love it, and they kick the ball over their head. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. What kind of things is he learning at school? Nong Chuan Pasa, yeah. Burmese language, and then English, math, and Sean. Oh. Uh, and uh, today they had the volunteer uh, medical team here doing health checks for all the children. So how is his health? He has no problem with his health, with, with, with health but yeah. He got some medicine for, for the cure of pimple. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> serious. Okay, that's been like that. <laughs> Thank you.
Marco. <laughs> We're at the school in the Deutsche Lang, Shine State Army Headquarters. Uh, there's a school here, elementary and high school. They have about a thousand students, and out of them, about 250 of them are orphans. They've been made orphans by the war. Uh, sitting with me today is Samun. Samun, how old are you? I was like 15. 15 years old. And why, why did she come here to Deutsche Lang? Young Chang Lang, no, man. Because uh, he escaped from the SPDC. Escaped from the SPDC. What what happened to her parents? Yeah, because his parents were tortured and also don't born on the camp. Yes, his his parents was killed or were killed by the SPDC children. Did the SPDC come in the village and kill many people? Music man, come on, everyone, jungle. Yep. And uh, the, the whole village, the people go away? Yep. Yeah. And uh, when did she come here? In 2003. 2003? Yep. She's been here four years. And uh, did she go to school here? No, I not here. Yep. And where did she live? Where did she sleep? No, 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 in dormitory. Yep. And uh, how many children are in the dormitory? No, home, home, Over sixty, over sixty, over 60 in the dormitory. In the dormitory. Yep. And what, what grade is she in now? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. And what's her favorite subject? I'm not giving you one thing language. Shan language, your favorite. <laughs> Before she came to, uh, before she came here, did she study Shan language? Antam, no. never. Why not? Yam Chang Nam, I mean. Because he have no school and the school and also the Burmese don't allow to uh, to go to school. The Burmese don't allow them to go to school or yeah. don't allow to study Shan language. Both. Both. Yeah. <laughs> Both cannot go to school and cannot study Shan language. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Compassion in a time of war. Seeing these girls play with these colored balls that were brought to them by the volunteers, seeing their happy faces brightens everyone's day. And I wish every day could be like this for the children of Shan State. I'm Antonio Griselfo from Deutsche Lang. Please say a prayer for the people of Shan State.